Hey everyone, welcome back. So I finally got the grapple that I have been waiting on. I think I ended up waiting a total of eight weeks for this. So this is a precision manufacturing. It is their standard duty grapple rake. This is the 72 inch wide and I ordered it with the double grapples. You can order this with a single or a double grapple. And when it showed up, it ended up, it came with the skid steer connections on there and the tractor, the third function on the tractor has the ag style hydraulic couplers. So I couldn't end up, I couldn't end up using it right away. So what I had to wait on is I had to wait on some adapters. Now I could have maybe made an adapter out of a short piece of hydraulic hose and then buying some fittings, but I actually I was having trouble finding those parts locally. And what I ended up finding is I, I ended up finding adapters that are pretty short little adapters, there's no hose, and it's got the skid steer connection on one side, and then it has the ag connection on the other. So, won't take up a lot of space, and um, that's what we're gonna be using today to hook this up to the tractor. I didn't end up changing anything on, on the, the grapple or the tractor because with this adapter, I should be able to hook up anything that I get, either or. Um, so if I go and rent a piece of equipment, I can still hook it up. If it's skid steer, if I buy a new piece of equipment and it's the ag couplers, then it'll hook right up to the tractor. So with these adapters, I think that's just gonna give me the best flexibility. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, hopefully this thing won't fall over. It seems like it's pretty stable. Um, we're gonna see if we can get this hooked up to the tractor and not knock it off the pallet. First try. That's amazing. Can't put my gloves on. <laughs> See, I should always do the bottom one first because that one's now going to be dripping on that one. All right, I've never done these before. I guess you just push in on them. Okay. So this will be the first time that I've used the third function on the TYM tractor. So on the joystick, there's a toggle switch on the front of the joystick, and uh, that should open and close this grapple. I've never used a grapple before either, so that's gonna be kinda interesting using that for the first time. But uh, it's getting ready to rain. Look at that, it's starting to rain. So uh, I guess we'll just go ahead, jump in the tractor, start moving some stuff around. At least, at least I got a cab of the tractor. I'll try, I'll mostly stay dry. <laughs>
So with as rainy as it's been lately, everything is wet, the ground is soft, and I'm actually probably rutting everything up a little too much, so I think I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. So uh, this grapple, one thing I will point out, this grapple does have like a little foot back here, um, and that's like a kickstand. That's permanently welded in that spot, but that's basically so that I can unhook from this and it should keep it standing straight up and down. Uh, I'm assuming you'll want the jaw closed, so that the weight is evenly centered. But uh, while I was running this, you probably noticed that the jaws, sometimes one would open and the other one wouldn't, and it was, uh, they wouldn't open at the same time. It'd be one and then the other. And that's to be expected from this two uh, jaw setup here. Um, whatever one moves the easiest is the one that's gonna end up moving. Now when it tightens down, the reason I picked this is when it tightens down and say you have an uneven load like a a log that's narrow on one end and big on the other, they'll both clamp just as tight. Uh, so one can clamp further down in the other one and they'll clamp an uneven load, if that makes sense. And that's the reason why I ended up picking that. Um, a lot of them have one really wide jaw and if you clamp down a lot of times, uh, you'll, you'll be tight on one side and loose on the other. So I did look at several uh, grapples and originally I was gonna get a grapple that had the really long teeth in the front that stuck out almost like a, like a bucket. And um, I ended up going away from those because they end up with like, when they clamp, they end up with like a huge opening on the inside. And I wanted something that was gonna be able to clamp down tight, especially on logs or brush and everything. So I ended up using the, or bought this clamshell design and the reason why I ended up picking this one is one, I wanted a double jaw, and two, I also wanted one that uh, was a certain weight. I can't remember how much this one weighs. Um, I probably ought to look that up. I think it's somewhere around 650 pounds. Uh, I really didn't want to buy one that weighed 900 or 1,000 pounds because that's just really gonna cut down on my lifting capacity. So I didn't want to get one that was too heavy. So I ended up decided that I would get this one. So I did, um, actually I ordered this online. I ordered it from, from Rural King, actually. So I ordered it online at Rural King and then it was like FedExed here. And it ended up, they suggested that it was gonna probably be like a six week lead time. And I think it ended up being closer to, to eight to nine weeks before I got this. So when you're looking at grapples online and you're watching videos on them, you're looking at pictures, sometimes it's really hard to tell like how it's built, how well it's put together. And after this was delivered, I hadn't even used it yet, and I was able to look this over, and it struck me that this was built well. And um, the first thing that hit me was the bottom teeth. So the bottom teeth are like, uh, the rake teeth are half inch thick teeth, and then they've got a piece that's just a little bit smaller that's half inch thick as well, that's welded to the side of it. Effectively, it's making that bottom rake teeth like an inch thick or an inch wide. And um, I think that really beefed that up. It looks, what, it looks like that it would be really hard to bend those up. So I think the bottom teeth are very strong looking. Um, it does have the hose management system. It has it on both sides. So whether which way you wanna run your hoses, it'll hold them up. It does have the hose cover on here to protect the hoses. And then the other thing that struck me is a lot of the cheap ones will not have pins in the cylinder. They'll just put bolts in there. And this does have the cylinder pins. Uh, now this cylinder pin right here is actually missing the clip that goes in it. I'll have to put one in there. That was the only thing I found wrong with it. And then it did come with the skid steer uh, couplers on there. And those are more expensive than the ag couplers. So everything on here looks like they definitely uh, didn't cut any corners and it looks it looks like a good rake So first time running the grapple I will have to say it did excellent with brush um, It just seemed to naturally just pick up the brush easy to carry it around easy to to dump it um, Sometimes some of the brush would want to hang up and you'd have to you know uh, pivot it down maybe shake it a little bit to get it to fall off but uh, Did the best with brush now. I tried the firewood like the firewood rounds that were like, I don't know, 10 inches to maybe four inches in diameter. So there was quite a variance in size. And um, 
Sometimes you might pick up only two pieces and the next time you might pick up five. So it didn't do really good with firewood. I think sometimes it gets clamped in one of them big pieces and the jaws are still open so far that the rest of it just falls out. So I don't think it's gonna work real well for that. Um, so other things I think we can do, I think it'll work well picking up logs. You always see that all the time, right? We do have some big rocks around here that I wanna to try to pick up and move around. Uh, they're like landscaping boulders. You know, they're like big uh, boulders. I think this would work really good picking those up and carrying them around. And then um, I think also like maybe fence posts, like wooden fence posts. I might be able to like clamp a hold of one and like lift it out, like pull it out of the ground. So definitely see some possibilities for it. Um, man, but for cutting up trees and, and piling up brush, I think it's gonna work out really well. So the one thing I didn't like while I was running this is that I feel like it's backwards. I mean, the controls are backwards. So uh, on the, the joystick, there's a rocker switch. You rock it up and down. So when you rock it backwards, the jaws close. And when you rock it forwards, the jaws open. And to me, that just seems like that's backwards. Like I, it just seems more intuitive if I pull back on the button uh, that it ought to open. So I may end up taking the, the fittings on the grapple and swapping those two fittings because it's a male female fitting swap those the other way and then the joystick will work the way i think it should well i'm definitely not going to be able to do anything with the tractor outside today or tomorrow so looks like i'm going to be looking for an inside job so probably try to find something to do here in the shop so i think that's it for today guys so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one We'll just test it out, see what we can do with it, uh, kind of give you my initial thoughts of it. So, uh, seems to be something in the, something inside of here. Operator's manual. Who needs that, right? Come on. <laughs>